Hey everybody, thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a website, uh, how you can start to build a website using Composer. All right, so there's going to be several videos. This is just step one. Uh, Composer is free to download. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, and I'm going to show you where you can get Composer. Okay, I already have it. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is what the software looks like. <coughs> While well, it loads up here for a second, let me actually uh, come back. Uh, the way you can get it is, uh, of course, go to google.com and then type composer uh, with a Z, okay? And it's free to download. Uh, if you go to composer.net, you can actually download it, as you can see, composer.net, uh, and just download, click the download button. It's going to prompt you to download it. Download it. Once you open up the software, it's going to look something like this. Uh, I'm going to close this up. And this is the basics of building a website. Now, what you need to do uh, in order to start building a website, you want to actually create what is called a folder uh, in your desktop. Okay, so we're going to say new folder, and we're going to name this website. Okay, I think I already have it in here, but uh, I'm just going to name it uh, Website 2. This is just temporary. I, uh, you want to name a website. I already have a folder called Websites. Uh, website. Okay, now what you want to do is come back to Composer. Okay, and I actually have two, two of them open. Uh, here it is. All right, uh, if you want to start to actually build a website, you need to have a, a, a view of what your website looks like. So in order to do that, if we come up here to insert a table, as you can see, uh, we can start with three rows. You can go as many as you want, but <laughs> a simple website will have three rows, as you can see right here. Now what we can do, uh, you can see there's a border around the actual tables. If we double click uh, up here in the, in the, in the very top, Okay, come over here to the table, and then if you want to get rid of the border, you can just put that zero, type table alignment in the center, and then where it says uh, the width, instead of 100% of the window, we're going to say about 80% of the window. So we'll say apply, close. So as you can see, this is how the website is going to start looking like. This one here is going to be a header. Okay, so. Uh, before we continue, as you can see, it says untitled. We want to save this, so you can right-click. Uh, I mean, uh, click on File, Save As, and then uh, it's asking for a title. So whatever your website is going to be about, let's say um, you're going to be doing, you're going to be promoting. Uh, maybe maybe your website is going to be about a camera, right? So you can put the name of the camera. I'm just going to put camera for this example. Okay, you can name it whatever you want, <coughs> and then I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna actually look for that folder, which was website two, the one we created. I'm gonna click on that, and here I'm gonna put index.php, or to make it even better, HTML. Okay, we're gonna hit save. Um, so now, if I minimize this, as you can see, I have a file. If I double click on my folder for websites, I already have an index page, which is just a blank page, okay? Um, but that's the start of the website. Now what we need to do is actually find a header. So I recommend you create your own custom header. Uh, but just to give you an example, um, if you already have a header, let's say I'm gonna look for a header. I'm gonna hit enter. Actually, uh, let me go to images. Uh, camera. I'm going to put camera. And, uh, and this is just uh, so that way you can see. Uh, let's say this header here. Okay, I'll, I'll click on it. I'm going to view the image. And it's going to give me a, <laughs> a URL. I'm going to copy this URL. <clears throat> I'm going to go to Composer. And I want to apologize, guys. I'm a little sick. Okay, I'm going to double click again on this top table. And on the cell, I want it to be, uh, let me see here, vertical, 
actually I can do it up here. Let me see here. Let me say, uh, actually it's in the sales guys. Give me a second. Middle. Hit apply. Okay. I can come up here also. As you can see, this cursor I wanted in the middle, so I just come up here, click up here. I'm going to click on image, double click on image, okay? Um, and I'm just going to put the URL. Um, if you have it already down, if you created a banner, all you got to do is add it to your folder. I'm just going to hit OK. Uh, if you want to put it, I'm just going to put a header. And it's good to name. As you can see, I got, I got a basic header. So if I save, I'm going to come up here, hit save. Okay, if I minimize this, if I come back to uh, the website that I'm creating, for example, um, if I come back to the folder and double click on this again, I should, as you can see, I have a header. Okay, I have a header of the website. Now, if I, if I want to change it, Let's say I want to change the background color. I still can. I'll just come back to Composer. And what I can do also is uh, right-click, Table. If I want to actually change it to pixels, okay, I can, um, I can say 800 pixels, apply, okay. So as you can see, it kind of brought it more narrowed down. So on this one, here you can uh, create your content. Uh, let's say if you're doing an Amazon product or if you have a, a blog and article, you can actually add the blog in here. Okay, uh, you can you can just start typing anything you want, right? You can add another image. Maybe uh, I mean this is just to give you a rough idea. And then down here, you can put another image. <coughs> uh, but let's change the background color. How, do, how can we change the background color? Uh, let's hit save. Okay, every time uh, you want to make sure you save your work. Uh, let me actually come back. Let's see what the website looks like. So if I refresh the page, as you can see, I just got some text in here. Okay, I just got some text. Like I said, you can create whatever you want. Maybe you have a blog post. <coughs> Maybe you have your own reviews about a product, uh, I recommend you create your own header. This is just a header that's out there on the web, but you can create your own header. Uh, make videos on that later. Uh, let me see here. Let's say if I want to uh, add a black. <coughs> One second. So let's say I want to add a black footer. So I can come over here to. Uh, I can put background images. Okay, maybe I want to add a maybe this background color. Okay, no, it's telling me it's a wallpaper. So let's look for another one. You want to look something that has just an image. As you can see right here, I have the image URL. <coughs> you can create these also. Uh, there's programs on the web that you can create. I want to apologize, guys. I'm, I've been sick, but uh, <clears throat> let me come back to Composer again. Okay. Now over here for insert. Um, one second, actually. Let me see. View insert. Font. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to find. Okay. Come over here to format. And then where it says page color and background, click on that. Okay, you can select a different color, but for this one, we're gonna put a background image. Okay, so there's a background image. Let me say okay. As you can see, <coughs> now we have a background. Okay, uh, maybe if I wanna add uh, a black footer, or if I create my own footer, <coughs> for example, here are the pixels. As you can see, the numbers up here, A63. By 160, okay. So I need a 863. So just to give you an idea of what you can do, uh, you can also use Paint. Uh, let me open. 
with paint. Okay, uh, let me say new. Okay, and we're going to pick, let me see here. I'm just gonna pick a, a black color for now. Okay, uh, if I wanna resize it, I'm gonna say pixels. And then uh, for the horizontal, it was 863, just like that. Uh, I'm going to untick that so that way I can change this to maybe uh, 200. All right, so this is going to be, I'm going to save. Um, save it as. I'm going to go to, I'm going to look for that folder again. It was on <laughs> desktop. <clears throat> and it was on uh, websites too. Okay. Now for, for this, I'm, I want to, I want to actually, uh, what I can do here is actually where it says new folder, I'm going to click on new folder. I'm going to put images. Okay. And then I'm going to click on that folder. And as you can see, it's open on websites tool dash images. And I'm just going to name it uh, bottom footer. Okay. Just like that bottom footer. I'm going to hit save. Okay. Now that it's in there, I'll come back to composer. Uh, I click here for the center. I double click on that. Okay, cool. I'm going to come up here to image and I'm going to click this little folder. Okay, and I'm going to go to desktop. I'm going to look for websites too. Folder, double click on that. As you can see, images. There it is. So I'm just going to put here bottom footer with a dash. Hit OK. So there's my bottom footer. <coughs> I can still, let me see if I double click on this. If I hit dimensions, I can uh, maybe make it um, a little bit less. Maybe I'm going to say like 150. I can always change stuff around, as you can see. Maybe I want to make it a little bit dimensions, maybe just 100. So there it is. Uh, that's pretty cool. It's going to launch the application. So there it is. There's my new website. Uh, it, of course, it needs a lot of work. I'll make another video and show you how you can add content and stuff like that. All right. So hopefully you like the video. God bless. Uh, subscribe. I will make another video. Uh, step two coming up. Bye.